Alright folks, today a little bit of an introduction, lighting's not the best here but this is the latest pickup. Of course it's got a ton of issues, um, I'm not going to get too detailed into exactly what it is right now because we're running out of daylight, I spent the morning in the junkyard and I need to get an entire exhaust system put on it. So I picked this up a couple days ago from Nebraska or Wyoming, one of the two. Now it's pretty, oh my gosh, gotta steal something every time. Pretty straightforward, uh, white K5 Blazer, 350 small block Chevy for the engine, 700 R4 for the transmission. There's a lot of pieces here, pretty much everything is here except for the exhaust. So I'll show you what we're working with. The previous owner, who I bought it from, lived in, like I said, Wyoming or in, uh, Nebraska, and they don't have emissions up there. So, uh, if you can see, he put headers on it, and there's no O2 sensor bung in there. So, and that's all he did with it. He got it running, the tranny's fried, he did a little bit of shady stuff with the, um, the throttle body ignition. You can see the 700R4 cable's not adjusted at all, so it's not even shifting out of first right now. So I'll look at that. But basically, what we're doing right now is we're gonna do the exhaust. You can see right here, this is where the long tube headers terminate, and this is probably a two and a half inch exhaust setup. Stock is like two and a quarter, I think, somewhere in that ballpark. I pulled an entire stock exhaust along with the exhaust manifold from a junkyard today. So I'm gonna put that on. It doesn't have any catalytic converters on it, so I'll deal with that later, but it at least has mufflers. This is too loud to drive right now the way it is. I, I can't even stand it. My neighbors probably hate me more than they normally do. So, hmm. that's what we're gonna get rid of today. Now the exhaust I pulled, it has an O2 sensor. It's stock. Pulled it off of, a, I pulled most of it off a diesel blazer, and then the rest came off of a different blazer. So, we're gonna get these old headers off, or these new headers. Now it's pretty straightforward to take off the small block Chevy exhaust. You can see there is four exhaust ports on each side. One, two, three, and four. And there's two bolts for each, well, there's two for the first one, two for the middle one, and two for the last one. So you got two bolts on each side for all these exhaust ports. And then it's just gonna fall right off because I don't have anything else supporting it. There's no other exhaust on this thing. So I'm gonna get these bolts out. They were 9 sixteenths in the junkyard. So I got one there, another one there, another one there, one on the other side, and then two in the back. I'm gonna take those out. That gasket is new. I'm gonna reuse it. I'm not too worried about exhaust leaks right now. Like I said, I just wanna get the sound down so I can drive it and mess around with the transmission without pissing off everybody within a 100 square mile radius. So I'm gonna take off those four bolts. We're gonna pull the headers off, and then I'll show you the exhaust setup that we're doing. So we encountered our first problem. Kid I bought it from looked like a high school kid. Uh, and he told me to put on the headers. He did not, he forgot to tell me that he snapped the bolt off. So a stud coming out here that holds on the exhaust manifold. It's sticking out right back here. And he can tell he's grabbed it with pliers a million times. Um, so I might try to hit it with some propane and then grab it with my vice grips and try to just twist it out. Otherwise, I am going to weld a nut to the, I'll weld a nut to that stud and then try to back it out and all the heat from the welding should break the rust that's inside of there. So we'll get it out one way or another but that's where we're stuck for right now. So finally got it out. This is the actual part that was in the, uh, in the head for the exhaust. The original head of the bolt broke off so it was just a tip sticking out. I welded on two nuts before this and uh, this one was the, finally the one that got it. I think it was a zinc plated bolt or something. I think this is all the zinc, the yellow stuff, but I finally got it. I was surprised that I did. I started to melt the bolt. I broke two off before this. Two nuts broke off, but I finally got it out. So we're good. Um, yeah, it's pretty much dark now. So I am going to, I've got both headers off. I have the exhaust manifolds inside. I just need new, new gaskets and then I can assemble, so. We'll stop for now. Right now we're working on the exhaust manifold to the passenger side. The one that I got from the junkyard had some broken studs in it. 
I didn't think it would be too big of a deal to get them out. It's proving to be a little more difficult. So we can check the setup in a second, but I've just got a torch. I have a nut welded to the back side of the stud that's sticking out. Uh, you can see it in just a second here. And then I've got a torch heating up the other end and we're gonna try to back it out. I already had one bolt um, just break off. We're not getting a great weld, but take a look. So, there's the nut welded onto the stud on the back side. And then the stud comes through here and I'm just shooting some heat through this side. I'm gonna try to back it off in a second. I'm sure it'll probably break off and then I'll, might just end up giving up and going to the junkyard tomorrow to get uh, new exhaust manifolds that do not have studs broken off in them. Well, the third trip to the junkyard is what did the trick. So now you can see we've got new manifolds. The ones I originally had, I pulled from a 93 Blazer. That did not work. It looked like it would work. The biggest issue, I'm pretty sure the passenger one would have worked, but I just grabbed one off of an 89 Suburban. But the biggest issue was the O2 bung. The O2 bung for the, the 93 Blazer, it basically came out right here on the other side. So when I mounted it up on the truck, yeah, the O2 was coming in contact with the, the frame of the actual blazer. So on 93 to 87, there was some sort of a change, clearly. But now I've got, I've got the correct manifolds. These came off of an 89 Suburban square body, so this should still work. Here's the O2 bung, there's just a plug there because they had it downstream, because they had a, a, a single exhaust. Mine's a dual, I think that's why there's a difference. But either way, there's a plug in that. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put my O2 sensor in. It should thread up. This is the O10, O2 sensor out of the 93. It looks like it works. The plug is the same thing that I got in my 87. So that should work. I've got gaskets for everything. And I don't know where they are, but I'll find them. I've got gaskets for it. We're gonna go try to mount these up. I'm gonna put antices on everything that I put together. So these little exhaust studs are gonna get antices. A couple of them came out, so I have new studs to put in sitting right over there. We're going to mount this up to the truck right now. And then we'll try to put all these other exhaust pieces that came off of a diesel blazer onto this. And we'll go from there. Here's the O2 sensor kit for the 87K5 blazer. I got it from, or not O2, this is exhaust manifold gasket. Uh, I got it from O'Reilly's and it comes with multiple different pieces so it's not one long thing. It's basically six pieces total, three per side and they're just going to slide right on top of in between the manifold and the head. Right. We're back here. Some time has passed as usual. It's darn cold today but I got the exhaust all, all buttoned on. So here's the manifolds. They're all buttoned up on both sides. These are stock manifolds. Everything's fine there. I have the temperature sensor hooked back up. The O2 sensor is just threaded right into the back of the exhaust manifold like it would be from the stock. And then there's my down pipes right there. So if we go underneath, I did the same thing on the other side, but I have dual exhaust running right now. And, oh man, it's cold today. So, oh, snow everywhere. Here's the dual exhaust. I pulled this off of the diesel blazer in the junkyard. I probably said that before. The one on the passenger side, it's, <laughs> something's not totally right about it, but it works for now and I can at least start the thing and move it around. Now, the other reason I just went with the dual exhaust because it came on the blazer. I need to fix the transmission so I didn't want to put in something with a crossover pipe because I probably have to take it off to replace the tranny. But for now, this exhaust is going to stay. It's pretty much all buttoned in here pretty good. I'm going to just weld in a cat and then I'll get the crossover pipe in the front to connect. But that's pretty much it. It, uh, yeah, we're pretty much good on the exhaust. It's quiet and I can actually run it around now to test out the transmission and find out that it doesn't work.